Hi guys, my name is Kat and welcome back to a new Sims 4 video and in this video I am going to be starting a brand new series where we renovate some base game homes. We are going to make them, you know, a bit snazzier, a bit nicer, so, but still trying to keep with a sort of general theme or like a general, like, how the general area looks, I guess, but you'll see me go through this driveway thing here for a while. Just like ignore this. It doesn't turn out like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was trying to keep something cool with the roof here because I really wanted to do something uh, similar with the spacings in the roof that were already there because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do yet. So this will, oh my God, this all just completely changes. Like... <laughs> I almost wanted to like take it out but at the same time I know some people like to see the process of how you get from one part to another part and believe me there's a lot of thought process going into this there's a lot of just thinking on the go and stuff like I didn't have a plan at all when I started this but I actually am pretty fond of how it turned out it's definitely a better sand trap flap in my opinion sand trap flat in my opinion not flat <laughs> anyway, I've been sick for a while, so if my voice still sounds funny, I think we're still going to be dealing with that for another video or two, let's just be honest here, but um, yeah, still sick, just getting over it now though, I think at least, and let's see, what else is new? Also, um, if you are new to the channel, this is Catzilla Gaming, and I am Cat of Catzilla Gaming, obviously. And I just like to do different games and stuff and reviews and, you know, just have fun. And actually, if you guys ever want to suggest a game, like, feel free. And I'll obviously, I'll take it into consideration. You know, I may or may not play it. But <laughs> some games I do play already, and I just can't actually film them. So that's also an issue, but I was trying to do this fun thing here and then I kind of realized what the hell am I doing? That's like over the actual like um, or the actual house. So I was like, whoopsie daisy and I went in there and fixed it and I actually end up uh, taking out all the spacings up there. And anyway, I really wanted to open this place up and make it a bit bigger, so I really wanted to make it two bedrooms, so it's two bedroom, one bathroom, though the second bedroom could be either, I don't know, some sort of studio area, or it could be something like a study, or it could be a kid's bedroom, but I almost made it more of a guest bedroom, I guess, because it is a full bedroom, or I guess it would be good for a teen, maybe, but you'll see, you're seeing me fiddle here with this, and I just wanted to do something cool up there. I thought it would be fun to have that. I've never done it before, so obviously I was having some issues here. I ended up fixing it in the end, I think. Yeah, I ended up fixing it in the end, but it took a while. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I just really wanted to make the house a bit brighter. I hate, hate, hate that green color that's on the outside. It's awful. So, of course, that was like the first thing I changed. <laughs> and I wanted to brighten it up. So I opened it up here and go through a few door choices before I just leave that one. But I really wanted it to be more bright and modern because I feel like they were trying to do like a modern-esque style. But like the modern part didn't really go all the way through. I don't know. It kind of like, I don't know. It kind of has, I'm not sure what the vibe is. It's like something you see more in like New Mexico and stuff, or just like down South in the States and probably in Mexico too, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's kind of that like sandy place vibe. Like I've never been to a place like that, honestly. So except for like parts of Cuba, I guess, or kind of similar but um yeah <laughs> I'm just rambling now I'm sorry anyway I originally I wanted to make this some sort of car park or a driveway but like with the overhang and uh you'll see me here trying to make this a room <laughs> 
but for some reason it wasn't working so I was trying to make it a room so I could put the outside on there like the outside roofing and then I was like wow I can just put like the middle ones and as on cue here's Anna oh my god she always wants to be in these videos um but yeah and I also ended up taking out those pillars and putting in my own pillars because I really I kind of decided like I wanted thicker ones but I still wanted to go with a similar pattern and also I'm not getting to the landscaping yet but I really like the landscaping on this house <laughs> I know that's like probably like a few minutes away here but I think the landscaping turned out pretty nice. It's not like super over the top or anything. And I'm not generally good at landscaping in general. So I was pretty proud of myself, not going to lie. And see here, I'm doing that like car park area with the um, random slits in the top. I wanted to do some sort of cool pattern, but it just wasn't working. So I was like, whatever, this is be simple. And oh my gosh, I hate this path until I put all the flowers and rocks and stuff around it. Like until I landscape it, this is the worst path in the entire world. Like just look at it. It's disgusting. Oh my God, <laughs> it needs to stop. But anyway, I was having difficulties with it. So it ends up being lovely. In my opinion, it turns out so much better once this is done. Like it's heinous at this point. Like I actually spent an obnoxious amount of time on landscaping in this video because I don't find I ever do. I never spend a lot of time on landscaping because I'm not very good at it. But this time I was like, you know what? Frick this. I'm going to be good at landscaping in this video. <laughs> and so I tried. I tried. I'm not saying it's great or anything, but you know, it's good for me and I'm proud of it. So just, you know, shout out to the garden. <laughs> anyway, um, I put a few fountains in front here too. And I put some on the side here in a bit too, because I would just decided I didn't feel like landscaping that side of the house. But I really like this, what was supposed to be a car park area. And I just kind of made it into a nice path. I don't know. It's just very nicely like lined with um, plants and stuff and fountains on one side. And it would just be so nice to walk through. It really would. <laughs> like, I feel like there should be some sort of seating area under there but I didn't actually put a seating area under there unfortunately I think I just kind of forgot about it but at the same time I like it within any seating because it's not crowded it's just somewhere like nice that you walk through and I kind of still like that about it um but yeah and I also put a pool out back of course and I just surrounded it in a nice light colored wood so I find pools are either always surrounded by light colored wood or by cement so I thought the wood would be less dangerous, though probably more slippery. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't know. It's kind of nice. They have this nice little pool area and they have this nice little deck and it's nothing over the top because this is just like a regular family home in my opinion. Like that's what I was going for. Um, I didn't put, even though I didn't put any kids' bedrooms, though, that's the thing, is I didn't put any kids' bedrooms, but I still find it's like a family home, but I guess um, you could just change the spare bedroom or the guest bedroom. You can just change that into a kid's bedroom if you'd like, or, you know, you can do whatever you want with this house, like, it's your game, but if you guys do end up in the house, or if you end up in the furnishing, I, I would always love to see that, and I know this is a little expensive with all the furnishing, I think it's like 86000 I think, with the furnishing, so it's definitely less expensive, I'm sure, not furnished, but furnished, it's fairly, you know, expensive. It's not really a starter home price anymore. Um, but I really, I don't know. I just really wanted to do some houses here that were from the beginner game or the base game because I don't know. I'm always, I usually, when I'm playing my own games, like, um, my not LP games, I just kind of use like regular houses and I always start decorating them at first, but I never have a lot of money. So that's one thing too, is this is not a, like a budgeted house. There is 0% budget on this house. <laughs> like 
<laughs> I just went crazy. Um, but if you guys would like to see a more budgeted starter home in the next one, I will definitely do that for you. Um, there's one actually that I always, uh, that I often start at and I start at it on a budget and it looks fairly nice in the end. It's still like, uh, the crappy green on the outside. It's not this one. It's a different one. I think it's in Willow Creek. You might know which one I'm talking about. It has like a deck on the front. <clears throat> Sorry. But anyway, um, I might do that one as more of a regular budgeted home and maybe give myself a budget of like maybe like 10000 or something to start off, even though that's still a little high. But yeah, anyway, so I ended up changing up this kitchen a couple times. Um, well, not now. I've finished pretty much now. but And I also decided to put these pillars in because I thought it kind of just added a little something to the room. I kind of wanted to make it still rustic because like on the outside to me, it's kind of rustic. You know, it's like a rustic contemporary. I don't know if that even freaking makes sense, but that's what I was going for. <laughs> and so I kind of wanted to make the kitchen a similar theme. And then I kind of brought the similar tables and furnishings out into the living room and into the master bedroom. I don't think I used them in the guest bedroom, but I did in the main bedroom. But anyway, um, yeah, so I went with some blue and white couches. You know, blue and white is my like kryptonite I don't know why but it is <laughs> um but I like how this turned out and I put end up putting up curtains and I just usually don't put up a bunch of curtains but I really like how they turned out in this one I don't know why I just really like it and they're just plain white curtains too they're like nothing special I just thought they looked nice and I liked that little brown carpet too and you'll actually see I'll change the wall color here like eventually like a million years later but I'll change it eventually and I like what I changed the wall color to because it's more homey it's less like ultra modern you know because I feel up to this point I'm doing kind of like half and half like half modern half like um half like more traditional and that's what I was going for so I just wanted to bring that throughout the home so I wanted to kind of mix traditional modern and I hope it worked out I hope you guys like how it turned out I also forgot for a while to put a door into the guest bedroom and <laughs> I can't believe that didn't even cross my mind to put that in like I just didn't think to put a door, you know, they could just magically walk through walls, right? No. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know, for some reason in my la, -la land, I kind of thought they good. And I put that separation there because I find most kitchens have that. Like, I know my, I think I actually explained this in one of my recent builds, too. Yeah, I think I did, actually, in my last Tall Modern House build, I totally did. Oh, here's the white curtains. Okay, I don't know, I just, I moved them up a little bit, too, so they were actually, like, up more where a curtain would be. <laughs> but I really like the curtains. I felt like they really traditionalized the house more, because I find modern houses don't really have a lot of curtains. They have blinds instead. I think they have those custom blinds that you can, you know, move up and down on remote and stuff, like what, what we all wish we could freaking afford, right? But yeah, and you saw I changed that wall color, actually, and see, I found that wall color was much more traditional than just having the, like, perfect white color like that's just like too modern in this case and then I also I do make the bathroom completely white I don't usually do completely white bathrooms so I was like you know what fuck it let's just make it all white like why not and we'll use this freaking wood bathtub for some reason <laughs> I was thinking of bringing that wood accent more into the room but then I was just like nah no nah, I don't I don't want to I don't know why, but, um, yeah, in fixing up the lighting here a bit, because I realized, like, wow, I don't have any lights in this freaking house. Why? And there, that's when I realized I don't have a door into that room. <laughs> okay, so now we are moving on to the master bedroom, and the master bedroom and the guest bedroom, you know, they're nothing special, really. Like, honestly, I just kind of threw it together more because I was more focused on the living areas because I find 
after a while, bedrooms are just, you know, they're all getting pretty similar. So I'm just, I don't like spending as much time on them as I like spending on like the kitchen and the living room and the dining room. Because that's where, too, if you're playing like I do, most of the time is spent in the other areas. It's not spent in the bedroom unless you're, you know, clicking on them to woohoo every like 40 seconds. Like, um, I'm sure some people do that. And not gonna lie, that's a little weird unless you're trying to get them to have a baby. And then I totally understand because <laughs> then I will be like, you know, try for baby, try for baby, try for baby <laughs> until I get them to have one. And I ended up using a, I know, I don't know if this matches, but it's like a light purple with that red bedspread. Like, does that match? I don't know. Like it was bugging me, but I was like, I kind of like it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just being picky, but like, I kind of like it. I think it turned out nice and I like the wood accent wall, which is the same as the wood on the outside. So I always like kind of bringing the outside in a bit. Like I brought out the stone in the kitchen was on the pillars outside and I think it was on the back of the house too. But anyway, as I said, very, very simple um, rooms, very simple very just regular and you still get your computer in there and what I like about this house too is there's still lots of space if you want to make it bigger like if you want to expand out back instead of having a pool you have tons of space on this lot I just didn't want to make it like hue humongous <laughs> because it's more of like a starter home and usually I only need to start with like one or two bedrooms usually I like to start with two bedrooms but I can never find a house to start with two bedrooms that I can afford because I usually try and play legit and I did go for a green theme in this room and like a green and like beige theme and I really like it I really like it that green theme I kind of used on one of my previous builds so I'm sorry but I kind of liked it so I was just like you know what I want to do it again you know I'm gonna rebel and yeah, so it's just a nice guest bedroom. It's actually, you know, you could just go sit in there too if you wanted, honestly. Like, your Sims could go sit in there and read a book or whatever. And then, yeah. All right, we're almost done here, I believe. Yep, we're almost done. And I just wanted to do very minimalistic furnishings outside because I don't know I find most normal people don't have like a ton of furniture on their decks like even at my parents I was gonna know they don't they have probably like our big outdoor table and like a little we do have a seating area because we have a pergola but like aside from that we don't have like a ton of furniture on our decks and you know little play stuff out here for the kids some um, places to plant your plants some places to have a little bonfire and more landscaping because so I realized wow I don't have any trees on here maybe I should put some trees that might bring this place together and as you see I use pretty much just the same flowers throughout because I wanted to make it seem kind of natural to the landscape and that's kind of what they have around this house so you know what it was like oh why not this works and I did fix this path a little bit because it was bothering me it wasn't straight enough so or it wasn't curved in the right way but there we go and we're into the screenshots and I hope you guys like this house as much as I do. I actually really like how this turned out. I'm totally going to use this in my games now. <laughs> I don't know. I just like that it's so, like, it's a pretty simple upgrade in a way. But at the same time, it's, like, a little bit complicated. And I love that sidewalking area. It's just so nice. Like, I want that on my house. <laughs> You know, I don't live in a house and I just moved too, actually. Woo, I just moved. If you guys didn't watch my last video, you don't know that. But yeah, I just moved. So actually, that's probably part of the reason why I haven't been uploading videos this week. No, that is part of the reason. Um, but yeah, I love these screenshots. This was a pretty nice house and it's the screen. Oh my god, the ceiling's just messed up. And I forgot to put lights in the kitchen over the over like fridge. So I'm sorry about that. But live that's something you know simple you can put in but if you want to download this on the gallery it will be uploaded shortly with the hashtag sandtrap flat reno and also you can always find my stuff under catzilla gaming or my user id catzilla7 so thank you guys for watching and i hope you have a great day see you in the next video